From spending his childhood in exile as a boy king, to serving as an exceptionally capable ruler who influenced the history of India, this is the third emperor of the Mughal Empire, Jalaluddin Akbar, known as Akbar the Great. Although there are conflicting views regarding Akbar, he is mostly commended for his ability to stabilize the Mughal Empire amid all the turbulence and chaos that characterized the region at that time. He ruled for around 50 years after the death of his father, Humayun, and the empire expanded during his rule, absorbing most of present-day India and large parts of Pakistan and Afghanistan. His success is usually attributed to his victorious military campaigns and the cordial foreign relationships he cultivated and fostered throughout his time as a ruler with among others the Portuguese and the Ottomans, for example. Akbar himself sent six documents addressed to Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent on different occasions, but his legacy stretches beyond the political. Although he didn't learn to read, Akbar loved acquiring knowledge, and his deep spiritual aspirations triggered an entire cultural and social revolution. He practiced Islam, and the religion's teachings inspired him. And although Islam first arrived in India centuries before him, Akbar's reign deeply impacted Islam's influence throughout the region. Akbar also had a passion for learning about different religions. His son, Jahangir, who later became Mughal emperor, stated that his father was always associated with the learned of every creed and religion. Thousands of volumes of text were amassed upon his request to establish a library that included books in different languages like Hindi, Persian, Latin, and Arabic and spanning a variety of topics such as poetry, medicine, astrology, and theology. Representatives of diverse faiths used to gather in Akbar's presence to share their knowledge. These dialogues usually took place in Ibadat Khani, which translates to the House of Worship, a place Akbar built for this purpose that eventually became his primary means of exploring questions of faith. However, historical sources contain various accounts of how his fascination with comparative theology could possibly have gone too far. His political marriage to Rajput princess Maryam Unzamani is also thought to have contributed to this shift. Some historians claim that Akbar eventually committed blasphemy and invented a new religion, Din Ilahi, or the religion of God. Others go even further claiming that he declared the end of Islam. However, multiple sources affirm that this is a misconception regarding Din Ilahi as Akbar never renounced Islam but rather adopted an administrative strategy aimed at allowing people within a multi-faith empire to coexist peacefully, to ensure their loyalty to an impartial ruler and to build a society under sulih i kul or universal peace. His reign was distinguished by good relations between Hindu and Muslims, and Hindu participation in the social and political fabric of society was significant. Hindu songs and poetry of the period praise Akbar as he was well liked by Hindus, these songs and poems are now referenced in order to refute modern-day Hindu nationalist arguments that claim Akbar's reign was a dark period for Hindus under a Muslim ruler.